CBS 46 First Alert Weather App. CBS Mornings on this Friday. You made it. I'm Gail King. I'm Tony DeCopel. And I'm Nate Burleson. We're all here. Let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. President Biden arrives in Asia, how he's handling tensions over China and new evidence of a nuclear threat from North Korea. They could have a device in place as soon as the end of the month. Victims' families react as the alleged Buffalo shooter is indicted for first-degree murder. It's just groundhog day. Like, we've seen this over and over. Oklahoma lawmakers have passed one of the nation's strictest abortion laws. It would ban abortions from the moment of fertilization. A feud between two of college football's biggest coaches raises questions about paying student-athletes. Grown men who don't get their way and want to pout throw a fit and act up. A $40 billion infusion of military and economic aid for Ukraine and its allies has cleared the Senate. NHL playoffs, Panthers, Lightning, game tied, seconds to play. Scores! Hilton has stunned the crowd. Former President George W. Bush was giving a speech and he made quite the Freudian slip. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Anyway, I hate when I mix up my unprovoked invasions. Maybe Bush is going to start admitting to everything he's been holding back. Also, I just want to say my grandkids are the ones who paint the watercolors. <laughs> Dick Cheney is a Terminator sent from the future. And there are no human-animal hybrids. I saw the Philly fanatic with his head off, and I freaked out. <laughs> This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. He does a pretty good George Bush image. I think everybody does a pretty good George Bush. <laughs> Fair point. Fair yeah, point. I, I like the Philly fanatic with the hat off as well. Have you ever <laughs> yeah. seen a, a mascot smoking a cigarette? It's quite a sight. <laughs> I have yeah. seen that. I have seen so that. We see that in Times Square a lot. Yeah, we Mickey do. Mouse with the head off. You have seen that as well. We welcome you to CBS Mornings. We've got some amazing reporting. And amazing is normally a word that's overused. Not today. Amazing reporting from our own David Begnow. He's got a new twist in the story of a man freed from prison after 44 years. He was accused by twin sisters of rape, and now a relative of his accuser says these allegations are not true. He came out and told me there was never a black man. I know exactly who raped me that night. When I looked at the discovery, I was like, well, everything they said at trial is a lie. We also heard there from one of the sisters, Karen Sanders, and a lawyer for the accused. David will be here to share what he learned for his 48 hours investigation. Looking forward to that. And it's always a good day for carbs and cheese. Yeah. I'm talking about pizza for today's edition of The Dish with the man behind what some would say is the perfect slice. So stick around and give your opinion. I'm looking forward to that, but let the debate begin. I got <laughs> some counter names here as well. Very controversial. Yeah. We've tried it before. Yeah. All right, but we got a lot of news to get to first. First, including that new law that would ban abortion at any stage of pregnancy and a major development on the shortage of baby formula in this country. But we're going to begin with breaking news from South Korea on President Biden. Just moments ago, he made remarks as he kicks off a strategically crucial trip to visit allies in Asia. South Korea has a brand new leader already being tested by renewed, renewed threats from the north. And of course, China will be high on the agenda as well. Nancy Cordes is traveling with the president in Seoul. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to you, Tony. The president has made this trip halfway around the world to bolster U.S. alliances at a pivotal time. And while he's here in Asia, he's going to sit down with the leaders of South Korea, Japan, Australia, and India.